Yes, indeed. Here we are once again talking about this cool relish trinity, right? Yeah, trinity. And it, you can see it's got some ricochet pickups in there of ours, so. Yeah. And these are pretty special. This is uh, kind of kind of a shootout video, but we're going to do a really quick flyby of a lot of different pickups. We just happen to have a lot of orders for the pickups with the relish brackets, and that's something that you can do on our website. You can also look for our reverb store. We have some different options for the relish guitars with different pickups. Uh, we will install them in the brackets and you can just pop them into your relish guitar if you're ready to go. Now this has been super cool just as you know solely as a shop demo guitar because I think before we started the camera you were mentioning something and I'll I'll uh, let you let you roll with that a little bit but it's been something that's been fun for for us to try the pickups really really close together. Yeah, it's like I was telling Brian, it's just kind of when you first learn how to install your first pickup and you hear that note and you're like, wow, it's working. And then you can sit there and mm -hmm. it, the cord is still ringing out. You can sit there and swap these in and out. And, you know, that cord is still ringing in your mind and you now can really hear the difference with all of these different pickups. So it's really cool. Yeah. And even just the the fact that it's it's so close together, you know, in your ear, you have like a, a little bit of a memory maybe of like, mm -hmm. oh, here's the H90 in the neck and then we're putting the Anthem in the neck and then we're putting, you know, the blender in the bridge or whatever. Um, that's been fun for us because we know how the pickups sound, we know what they do, but it's nice to hear the distinct differences between them in the same guitar. And so the platform stays exactly the same, but we're not detuning the strings, we're not soldering in new pickups. Um, so this has been really fun for us in the pickup development type, um, but also in in the fact that we can do some really weird combinations. We can have the ricochet in the neck and pop in a traditional bridge humbucker, all that stuff. So we have actually like a ton of pickups to show right now. We're gonna fly by some of the sets we have. What sets do we have kind of in the in the queue yeah. right now? Well, we've got a blender set, and then we've also got a Portertron set, an H90 set, and I believe a Anthem Plus set. Yeah, man. So we've got we've got pretty much a little sampling of almost everything, and we've been doing a lot of WRHs as well. We don't have those uh, with us for testing today, but we're gonna we're gonna fly by and kind of we're each of us is gonna take you know maybe we'll take a couple in each position. We have so much stuff to show. We're not gonna try to fit it all into one video, but we're gonna give you a little sampling of the pickups that we have right now. So let's take a listen. <laughs> some rapid fire of a lot of different pickups in you know like under 30 seconds or something like that you were able to just swap them in yeah and, and so that's something that I thought is just super cool it kind of like reinvigorated my love of <laughs> just the sound and I'm like wow this sounds totally different and you know it's well you know one would know that because they're different pickups it, it's you know it's hard telling sometimes so it's nice to be able to like mm -hmm. form that opinion for yourself and yeah it was a lot of fun learning to 
install things into these brackets and they were a little bit scary because it involves maybe melting some plastic. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's kind of one of those like, don't let what you don't know get in the way of what you do yeah. know. And you know, at the, there's a guitar playing at the end of the, at the end of the day. So it's good. Yeah. One, one benefit too, I was, I was thinking about too, is just, just having the same guitar too. So as you, you know, as you get a little bit more comfortable with the actual instrument, I think this one took both of us a little longer to get comfortable with just because it's got a bigger neck on it. Uh, but once you get comfortable with the guitar, then you're, that's not really getting in the way of the playing too. So mm -hmm. sometimes you would go to a hollow body to try these pickups and then you would go to like a shredder guitar, you go to a Strat or something like that. And that, that ended up being more challenging in a lot of ways. Um, so I think, I think the fact that the platform stays the same, the aesthetics, the, you know, the body wood, the fretboard wood, the, the neck wood is all the same. And that, and that really helps kind of, uh, here are the nuances between the different pickups. So again, if you if looking for some Porter pickups in Relish brackets, if you have a Relish guitar, you can head to our website and find the custom shop and you will find the Relish stuff there. You can also go to the Reverb store. We have a lot of really fancy stuff that is on the Reverb store. Um, that is subject to availability of the brackets themselves, but we are a dealer of the, the Relish stuff. We have relish brackets uh, typically in stock at any given time. But if you're not sure if we have it in stock, please check with us because there is lead times with uh, some of those brackets. So if you're looking for cool sounding stuff for your relish guitar, we can help you out. So thank you so much and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See you guys.